It's Wednesday, July 24th, a very busy day on orbit with the Expedition 36 crew members working on a variety of science experiments, plus preparations for departure of progress vehicle, as well as troubleshooting an issue with one of the uh, spacesuits. Commander Pavel Vinogradov and his crew kicked off their morning with a conference with each of their flight control teams around the world. The standard procedure to uh, begin the day by reviewing the day's plan and letting the crew know about any adjustments that have been made during their sleep period. Vinogradov and uh, Fyodor Yurchikin then moved on to work uh, shooting video for a Russian production, which is highlighting the achievements of that country's space program. It was science that kicked off the day today for Luca Parmitano. He started off the day initializing samples for runs in the binary colloidal alloy test experiment. Also science on the agenda for Alexander Mazurkin. He started his day with some more data takes on the Russian bar experiment, which focused on isolating sources of leaks inside a pressurized vehicle. Flight engineer Karen Nyberg began the day today gathering up hardware for the coming installation of the centerline berthing camera that'll be going in the window of the nader hatch of node 2 in advance of next month's arrival of the next H2 transfer vehicle. That camera will provide information to the operators of the robotic arm as they move uh, after they've grappled the uh, H2 transfer vehicle, the HTV, and begin to install it in place on the uh, Node 2. Chris Cassidy had exercise to uh, begin his day today and also then time for study of plans for continued troubleshooting on the spacesuit that leaked water into the helmet that was being worn by Luca Parmitano during last Tuesday's spacewalk, Tuesday last week. Cassidy then moved on to uh, setting up hardware in the Kibo module for some upcoming runs with the Marangoni experiment that is looking at the uh, physics of heat transfer in the microgravity environment. After lunch today, Vinogradov and uh, Yurchikin turned their attention to closing the hatch on the progress vehicle that is currently docked to the aft end of the uh, piers docking compartment. That's the end pointed down to Earth and identified in our graphic there as a 50, as progress 50, also known as 50P. Uh, the hatch is going to be closed a little later on Wednesday morning, and then the interface monitored for a day or more prior to the planned undocking of 50P on Thursday afternoon. That uh, undocking will open up a docking port to receive the next progress vehicle that's due to arrive at the station this weekend. 52P is to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome on Saturday at 3.45 in the afternoon Houston time to start a four-orbit journey to the station and is due to dock to the pier's docking compartment this Saturday night at 9.26 Houston time. The launch and docking of that uh, vehicle, of course, will be covered live on NASA television. The three U.S. segment crew members got together late in the morning for a conference with spacewalking specialists in Houston to review procedures for the next round of inspections that are designed to isolate the cause of last week's malfunction that allowed water to leak into uh, Luca Parmitano's helmet during a spacewalk. Crew members then top off their day with more work on the BCAT experiment and maintenance of components of the station's thermal control system. For Thursday, the schedule includes a lot of routine station maintenance, but also more setup with the Marangoni experiment hardware and maintenance on a combustion experiment apparatus, all while preparing for the undocking of a Russian cargo ship that will clear the way for a new load of supplies to arrive at the International Space Station this weekend.